Okay, Libri and MS applications. Now, when we think about a network management system, we think about monitoring the network. Now, uh, this is all well and good with Libri and MS. We can monitor switches, routers, and firewalls, but servers are increasingly playing an important role on the network, and uh, we need to figure out a way to monitor those a little bit better. We can add servers into Libri and MS, no problem. As you can see here, I have the local host, but this is not really telling us the whole story. We're not really monitoring the applications running on this server. And that's exactly what Libri and MS applications is trying to solve, is get stats from these applications, get them back into Libri and MS, uh, add them to the database, alert on them, build graphs. Uh, so that's exactly what we're going to try and do here, is uh, try to add some applications to our local host here. So there is literally thousands of applications that you could run on a server, but in order to see the ones that are supported by Libri and MS, we can go over here to the Libri and MS Docs website, uh, Applications. Uh, if you scroll down here, you'll see a list of uh, applications here that we can actually start to monitor on the server, and most of the major ones are in here, so uh, you'll probably find a bunch that you're using and you want to alert on and uh, start monitoring. Uh, so uh, you can just scroll through this list uh, and, and figure out the ones that you want to monitor and uh, figure out how to do that. Now, when I was going through this list earlier, I saw an application on here that I'm monitoring, but that wasn't on the list, and uh, I figured that they might have removed support for it, but they actually didn't. Uh, it just was never in the docs. Uh, so if you really want to see uh, what applications are supported, you can just go to the GitHub uh, Libri and MS repository. Uh, Libri and MS includes polling applications, and just scroll through this list here, and you'll see all the applications that are really, really supported. Now, how you get some of these working, if they're not on this list, that that might be a different story, but uh, RDCacheD was the one I didn't see on the list there, and I know I'm monitoring the server with that. So, uh, yeah, they, just go through this list and you can figure out which ones uh, you want to monitor. Okay, so we have a couple different ways of actually getting the stats from the applications off of the server into Libri and MS, and uh, they're all listed here at the beginning uh, by directly connecting to the application, this SNMPD extend, or an agent that Libri and MS wrote. But if you go through the uh, applications here, you can see almost like nice enable a little status page here. It's just a little web page on your website that gives you stats on how this thing uh, is performing. So we can just go in here and edit the Liberate MS, or the uh, Liberate MS server. So I want to view it from my web browser on my PC here. So I just want to allow that too. So we'll just restart this. Restart Nginx. It looks like it started fine. I usually always do a status after I restart something just to see if it's working, if it threw any errors or anything. So we should be able to go to this website now. Right here, this Nginx script. Uh, then we need to allow execute permissions on that script. There we go. And now we need to add this. This is really the key part here because all of this stuff here uh, really didn't help Libri and MS at all. I mean, it, it needs to get to the end goal, but uh, this is really where um, when Libri and MS polls this device, when it polls the local host, it's going to ask SNMP uh, to give me some information uh, here. And this kind of once, would, uh, when you actually enable SNMP on the server itself, you actually put this little distro in here. And all this is really doing, this is a little script that basically just goes and tries to figure out what distribution of Linux you're running. So this is going to be Nginx, uh, let's see, uh, stats, I don't know, we can just put whatever, these are just comments. Okay, that restarted. So now that should have been all we had to do here. So we just restarted SNMP on our host. Now, what we're going to do is we're actually going to go and try to discover this. Because, you know, when we get an application discovered and it's working, you'll see a little apps tab in here. You'll also see a new app uh, a tab up here at the top called apps. So when we run this discover, I'm, I'm pretty sure that app tab is going to pop up here. Okay. Well, it popped up here. It hasn't popped up here yet. We might have to run the polar first before it hops in, but let's try... Uh, so yeah, it hasn't gotten all its stat yet. So it just discovered that uh, Nginx is there, that it can actually ask for it and get information from it, but the polar script hasn't run yet, so it hasn't really grabbed any stats, you know? That's kind of a good de uh, delineation between the discovery script and the polar script. This found that there was an Nginx application, and this is actually going to pull it and get the stats out of it. So let's just run this. Okay, now you can see that it actually started uh, filling out the graph a little bit, but we have to get uh, 
a couple poles in before this will actually start writing grass. So we'll actually come back to this and we'll get it in a little bit here.